It's another pretty day, a uh, good day to work on the instrument. So I got all our tuners on there. The tuners on each side it worked out fairly well. Got the body pretty much done. I think I'm gonna take this little engraved Rosetta. Now my soundboard's too thin to countersink this in, so I'm not even gonna to try to do that. Um, I've done it before with other instruments, but uh, it just, you know, I don't, like I said, this is a little little shop build, so I'm not going to I'm not going to invest too much crazy time in it. I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to uh, I'm going to gorilla glue it right there. I think that adds to the instrument. I think it adds a little look to it. Looks like a little Rosetta. So I think we're going to I think we're going to go ahead and gorilla glue that in place. On a fancy fancy one, we would uh, tuck a router and a router just around and countersunk this into the board. But, uh, you know, it's not that crucial. This isn't going to be a thousand dollar loot. Get the Gorilla Glue on my hand. I've done it before. People start watching these videos, I'll, uh, I'll probably invest in uh, some more camera gear. But um, for right now, I mean, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm farting around in my shop. I'm not going to drop a grand in camera gear. Nobody wants to watch this. I'm going to try to get it as square as I can. That's good. That good. I'm just gonna let that dry. I'm hoping the I know it's it's smaller it's smaller than the fretboard right here, so I'm assuming that'll be enough room right here to play. Because most people play up here anyhow on the strings out right here. Um, if you're gonna strum it, you'll strum it further down here. So. We'll let that dry and then uh and then we'll put the strings on and work on the nut and she'll be done man she'll be ready to play all right so that's glued on um next we need to we need to have something to tie our strings to so i'm gonna put some um i'm gonna put some screws in here and uh, i'm gonna put them at an angle so they'll um so we could tie the strings to and run them across the nut I'm gonna use a bit that's just a little bit smaller than the uh, screws. I'm gonna drill at an angle. I think it'd probably be better to mark it. And use a little punch right there. A little, A little punch so it'll, it'll be a hole and it won't it won't run across the board. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Gotta be careful here. thing comes in handy. Alright. Wobbling a little bit. It's an oak, so it's going pretty hard. First time.
think, uh... be a little long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crimp them just a little bit. I see that, but shit. <laughs> Using some crimps. Crimp them just a little bit. Tension of the strings to keep them from slipping out. Something underneath it so I don't scratch it. adjust and flow further down if we need to. Strings right here. Let me wrap the string around and see if that's good. Oh, yeah. If I go down just a little bit more, but very safe, I'm sorry. Let me just go a little bit more. There we go. Alright, put a little nut in the string right there some pliers and put it, take it and then pull it tight tighten that knot down we're gonna loop it get it on there put it on the little screw right there one knot a hole for the bigger strings you have to put two knots on the small ones Take this down here, looking at the, uh, that nut, looking at the string right there. That nut is definitely high. Um, we're definitely probably going to have to drop that nut some. Attention. Looks like oh, yeah, we'll have to file down both sides and I'm going to work on the, uh, the nut first. I'm going to, um, well, yeah, I'm going to, you can see how high the, you can see how high the string is on the, on the fretboard right there. You want it, ideal, we want it, we want it to come about right, we want it to be about that high, right over the frets. So I'm going to have to follow this down. And then I'll start um, start working on the string on the nuts and getting it getting it down. All right. Well, I got the strings about where I'm on the beam. Um, I don't know how we can good you can see that, but the bridge I followed the back of the bridge and dropped the bridge, and I got the strings about where I need them to be on the uh, fretboard. 
And uh, it's got a, uh, it's got pretty good scale on it. I think I got the scale about right. Sounding pretty good so far. I've just got the last string to put on. I, uh, I had to, you take some flat sandpaper and you file down the frets and try to, try to get them as level as you can to help with the, uh, buzzing. Frets are just a pain in, you know what, man. Like I said, I oh, so would rather build a fretless instrument than an instrument with frets. So many things that can be off on frets, it just makes it uh, really, really, really difficult. But fret instruments sound the best, so I mean, what are you going to do? Get this string. Uh, I think I should probably. I, think I should probably put it in that one over there. Now that the string's important too, so you, sometimes you just gotta um, play with it if you ain't figured out ahead of time, like I didn't do it where I want. Figured out where some of the buzzing was coming from. I got that fixed. So the strings ain't completely stretched in yet. So I always tune them halfway and then let the strings set for a little bit and then tune it the rest. So that way it doesn't stretch the strings out. But um. I don't know, it looks pretty good so far. It sounds good. Get her completely tuned up and just see how she plays. Alright, well, that was a fun little build. It actually came out very nice. I'm really happy with the instrument. Um, you know, these, these are easy to make, simple. I, I consider them simple, but you know. But uh, I think it turned out very nice. It's got a good tone to it. Please for ukulele.
think the tuners are slipping a little bit. made this a um, concert ukulele and concert ukuleles are just too small for my hands I mean my <laughs> this is a this is a tuner right here man my hand in gold this is a uh, this is a uh, I think this is a, um, this is a bigger you know this was this must have been a deeper sounding one the but uh, as you can see, the the frets the frets are longer, and the uh, the necks definitely wider. So. so, with my fingers on it, <laughs> this is a lot easier to play. and detuned right now I don't um, I don't leave them tuned I detune them and then tune them back when I go to play them but uh this is a um, this is another one that I made alone this is actually my second one right here I learned uh, I learned a lot of lessons off the first one so but this was my second one this in here I, I this in here I'll eventually have to redo because it, Slowly and surely, this bridge is coming off. But this lasted uh, this twelve years. Yeah, twelve years. Twelve years. 